Welcome to another Murph Plays Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes for Nintendo GameCube. I'm Murph Strange, and this is Metal Gear Solid. The remake, you know, on the GameCube. You will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not... Now, if you're, if you're a returning viewer to my channel, and stop them if they you do. may notice... What's the insertion method? Uh, I've we'll changed things up a little bit. By sub. Your chats Command. will now appear on we'll the screen, on the video. Hooray! Applause, be seen. Um, try not to be vile. You will get kicked out. I will remove you. You will be banned. Uh, my title screen has also been changed up a little bit. Um, and also, I am rocking a new backdrop, but you can't really see it because I kind of have everything in the way. Oh, that's not the one I want to flag out. There we go. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho now you might be like, what? why are you covering it all up? Because everything kind of just doesn't fit on the screen and you'd still be able to see it. But, you know, I wanted a new backdrop in the Aurora Borealis kind of thing that I threw together. Well, that's another piece of art that I threw together. It's uh, the, the Tesla that Elon Musk put into orbit and a liquid snake. World War One or Two era UFO uh, image that I found on you know on the internet superimposed to appear as though they're racing each other um, through the solar system. See Saturn in the background and uh, riding shotgun with the astronaut is a llama. So, you know, all kinds of craziness going on there. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. And I know what you're thinking. You're going with me. As always, this is a one-man... Where's Metroid? Weapons and equipment why aren't we playing Metroid yes. today? This well, I'll tell you why we're not playing Metroid today. Any official support. Uh... I was starting to see the game in my sleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been playing so much Metroid, it's infusing itself into my dreams. So, we needed to take a break from that. It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. <laughs> Snake, straight to the point as always. What do you want from me? 
I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter, the unit's chief medic, an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry, this injection won't hurt a bit. Ugh. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. About five hours ago, an island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago called Shadow Moses Island was occupied by special ops soldiers. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You have two objectives. First, infiltrate the nuclear weapons disposal facility and rescue the two hostages. They are DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and Kenneth Baker, president of Armstech. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Okay, this is one of the things I like about, uh, the remake is this nice little, like, I don't remember this being a part of the original. It may have been. Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. But you can even play a uh, director a bit. Change up the camera so, angle a little. Someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence, and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Well, an air insertion is impossible. Mm, not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo. Only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and Equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support.
All right. What's the time limit? 24 hours. They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. So, not a lot of time. Not a lot of time. Colonel, who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. government. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. So, there's a lot of crap hitting fans in the White House basement. No. At this point, they're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry. Yet, is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes, and so is the DIA. The Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. Apparently, it's a no-smoking hospital. <sighs> we need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by codec. A female analyst? She's built up an impressive record as an advisor for the nuclear emergency You're choosing now to be a misogynist? Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Where's she working from? Her home in Los Angeles. California? California's a lot different than this place. <sighs> Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. <laughs> 